It looks like Twitter will get a new CEO, but just not yet. Speaking at an event in Dubai, current head honcho Elon Musk said he'll make the switch, but he needs to steady the ship first. So I don't know. I'm guessing probably towards the end of this year um, should, would be good timing to um, find uh, someone else to run the company because uh, I think it should be in a stable position around uh, you know at the end of this year. Question is, what is a stable position when we don't have any access into the financial details? We don't know how many advertisers perhaps are continuing to cozy up to some of the changes that have been made at the platform where now everybody can get a blue check mark. And at the end of the day, there is still more of a shift in how Elon Musk has decided to run or the discourse that he's allowed to prevail on Twitter. It, the platform is never going to be stable, just in, based on terms of the content and it's producing, likely its finances. And I understand they laid off a lot of people, so it might look short-term good. There's that. And then what established CEO is going to go work at this company? Likely you're going to see some form of, of Elon Musk puppet put in, forth, uh, put in place here at Twitter so they can mold him or her into the person or the CEO they want to be. Maybe it inf is, in fact, Floki. You know, I'm, I'm rooting for Floki. Well, yeah, exactly. I mean, if you look at his other companies, right, um, particularly space, SpaceX. You don't really hear about the head of SpaceX, but that company runs fine. Right. You know, so, he, so he's sort of in this conversation, he's sort of uh, painting it that this is the child that needs the most attention right now um, and that Tesla doesn't need as much attention. Tesla is obviously now at this point a more mature company. It has its own issues and investors would like him to be spending more time on it. Ross Gerber, for example, is trying to get a board seat at Tesla to yeah. try and uh, influence the company more directly. Um, but, you know, it's funny when you get these kinds of comments, Tesla shares, I think, reacted positively to this, just like it rea they reacted positively to when he tweeted uh, that poll in December asking Twitter users if he should step down. They said he should. But, like, he never said he had, he said he would abide by the results of the poll. He never said when, right? right? And also, he's talking about he's going to step down at the end of the year. Gee, when have we gotten an Elon Musk timeline before that he hasn't held Ooh, to? Like, yes. he, he says this. There's nobody. It's a private company. There's nobody holding him to account. He can do whatever he wants, including, by the way, promote all of his tweets to the top of your timeline, which is exactly what he's doing right now. I'm still waiting for my autonomous Tesla taxi to show up. In fact, uh, and that on or the, the cyber point of truck timeline. or the cyber truck, uh, so many other things. And, and if this is the case, too, then also announce a succession plan over at Tesla. I actually publicize that or at least give the investors some kind of mindset so that they can understand who else is going to be able to lead that company as as you're clearly prioritizing your time with Twitter. I just I can't help to giggle all morning long we're talking about moves that Warren Buffett made to his portfolio in those in those filings Apple Occidental you name it. Let's look at the different philosophies between an Elon Musk just doing whatever he wants to do and Warren Buffett Hiring managers for each of his many companies that he owns, let them dr drive their own success, doesn't meddle, that we know of, doesn't meddle in the way Elon Musk. It's just different philosophies, different ways of doing things. But you have Elon, I think, trying to maybe create some kind of Buffett portfolio play. It's just really weird how he goes upon doing it. Well said.